Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good time zone. Wherever you are, I hope you are having a lovely time. So we're in the ship's game. I've got coffee, so I've got coffee on my bridge. That would be something if I had my own bridge of a ship. <clears throat> There'd have to be a coffee maker somewhere nearby. I would need that every time I go up to the bridge. <laughs> uh, but it's the end of the week. Uh, the missions and everything will be changing out. So I thought this would be a good time to try to finish them. I'll actually put the missions up in the background while we're sitting here. The one I particularly want to finish is uh, the Italian mission that's going on right now. If you haven't gotten this one, you might be able to get it done today. If you haven't accepted it yet, the, uh, the first part of it is a bit rough because you have to get a million credits. And as you can see, I've been slowly working on it. Uh, the next part was Global XP. And that's what I'll probably be working on. Got to play Italian ships for it, but I'll probably play some other things in between. Uh, this is one of my favorite games to relax with, especially on Sundays. Typically, uh, what I do is I finish up everything on Sunday evening. Hello, Selvia. How are you doing, friend? Good morning, good afternoon. Indeed. Yes, it is uh, mid-afternoon for you, or late afternoon, I believe. But how are you doing? I hope well. We're just getting ready to sell some ships. See what we can get into. Uh, let's see, announcements to make. Uh, the only thing I can think of is... Hopefully, by the end of tonight, I will have the March uh, streaming schedule put up. And the only change I can think of is one. Uh, well, two, I guess. We're not going to have Legend of Dragoon. We just beat that game. And although I do want to revisit it, it's time to replace Mondays. Uh, typically, Legend of Dragoon would be streamed on Mondays and Wednesdays. So I have to find a game. I may take a poll and see what you all think I should start playing. I had thought about Shadow Madness. It is good. I um, hope you are doing well. It's currently 2 p.m. Oh, well then, good afternoon to you. I don't know. Are you drinking some tea or some coffee then? Probably tea at that time of day. I'm just now waking up and having my coffee. But I think that's the only announcement to be made is that I'll try to get the schedule up for the new month. No later than tomorrow night, but I'm going to try, I'm going to try for tonight. Uh, yeah, there's no such thing as coffee in England, <laughs> uh, my other friend Subaru, uh, always gets me for the coffee things as well. The ship that we were on, that battleship, quickly becoming one of my favorite ships, we unlock that on stream, actually. And it's a battleship, but it's a lot of fun to play because it has a smoke screen. I don't know, should I start off with a high-level ship? Oh, we also got this one. Which is a much lower tier ship, but it's also been pretty interesting to play this one. I think I'll start with a slower ship today. Just to get my hands used to it again. Well, I'm sorry that there's no coffee over in England, but here in the U.S., there's lots of coffee. Although in the Discord, I went ahead and added a tea uh, emoji for my friend who loves tea. Just because. Oh, I will put that up there if anybody wants a Discord invite. Oh, there's coffee, however, when it drinks it isn't truly British. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Hello, Sonaris. I hope you're doing well. Uh-oh. I think that this is a... I thought there would be tier 4s. Okay, there's a couple tier 4s. 
I thought so. I was like, wait a minute, this map's a bit high level, and they've changed a whole bunch of things in the recent updates, so it's not too shocking. Seems uh, they put us at A, so I have to position to help support take that, to see if everybody else is doing that. The Clemson's heading here, that's good. I need a destroyer support. That's a uh, target, a bit out of range, but the destroyer's spotting them. Ooh. That one right there was will definitely be a ship that I could go after. I've been spotted. Hmm. I have two other ships coming after me. They're staying nose on. Uh-oh. I'm, I have to drop anchor. Someone's trying to get in front of me here. It's okay, because the Koningsberg's launching torpedoes. I'd like to stay out of their range if possible. I can't tell if the Derequin's going to turn. When you're encountering ships with lots of torpedoes, like these two, you just want to slam on the brakes a little bit and... Well, a little bit. You just want to break. Try and buy yourself some time to uh, navigate around the torpedoes. I didn't expect that, but I, I got a critical hit. Oop, secondaries are going to have to work that thing over. Now, they definitely launched torpedoes, so I just have to hope that they overestimated their reach or their speed. Torpedoes to port. Torpedoes astern. I am going to have to take one of those. At least, maybe two. It's okay, it hit the, uh, the armor for it. Our team has taken the lead. Oof, that one hit shot in the beginning. I was shocked by that. You'd be shocked how often you actually have to run away in this game. <laughs> you advance and then you have to run. That Omaha is not doing very well. That's going to be an enemy unless... Well, no, the torpedoes look good for our destroyer. Who thankfully stuck around to help. Oh no, it's a cruiser. I thought those were the destroyers. Just about gone. Is the Omaha on the other side, or is it over here? Ah, it's over here. Oh, this is going to be a quick fight. Well, I guess this was a good way to wake up. Oof, took me forever to turn the ship all the way around. This thing is very slow. Tier 3 battleships typically are not very quick anyway. I doubt that will hit. What did we lose? Just two cruisers? That's crazy. Oh, can I get sneaky? I did, actually. I hit their gun. <laughs> I didn't think I'd get that. Oh, this game is always so much fun to play. It can be a little nerve-wracking if you're in, like, a ranked battle, but outside of ranked battles, I have a lot of fun with it. And we're just playing against some AI at the moment, I think. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time I loaded in and it wasn't AI. Hmm, it's very well angled there. I think the uh, torpedo ships have got it, though. Oh, nope, that was a lot of misses. It's a very interesting ship design, too. Those turrets in the middle. I am learning how to use it, but... Let's see if any of the shells will make it up over that. It's a bit too uh, low, I think. 
How are you doing today, Sonaris? I hope well. Oh, you joined the Discord? Well, welcome in, friend. Uh, just make sure that you read the, uh, the rules and hit the check mark. It's the only one you need to get for rules. Everything else in there is optional. It's just the way we have the bots set up. They'll uh, kick people who don't hit the rules. Ah, oh, that was a lovely fight. I didn't think that I would get a one-shot on that other ship. Let's see, what other low-tier ships do I have? I have plenty of the Italian line because, well, they actually don't have a lot of Italian ships up until now, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, as you can see, this used to be all we had. Uh, as a matter of fact, even before... <clears throat> it wasn't that long ago, we only had two premium ships, and then they added the cruisers. And I am trying to get to the Amalfi. But they just added battleships, which are in early access. And that's why I'm trying to do the weekly event. I'd like to get a couple more of those. It saves money and time. Oh no, you clicked on <laughs> Well, you just take whatever you want, Selby. Uh, the other rolls, besides the check mark, you can always take them off if they're annoying you. But welcome in, Fred. Glad to have you. Uh, John, Barry, and I actually spent last night watching Pokemon in the Discord. It was very nice. I had not seen the new Pokemon show before, so it was interesting. Let's see, I'll play the Trento. Oh, and what game were you playing last, Selby? I think you were, the other day, you were playing something, and sadly, I was asleep. I spent most of my Saturday asleep. <laughs> I'll admit it. Oh, Saturday was a very sleepy day for me after cartoons. Oh, you're playing Paper Mario. <clears throat> How is the Paper Mario? Oh, it's the, uh, hmm. What version of Paper Mario is that? I don't recognize the last part. The Thousand Year Door? Is that the Wii? Because I really, really, really like the original Paper, Paper Mario. And Mario RPG. Oh, I love Mario RPG. Nothing quite like that game. The GameCube, uh, that explains why I don't recognize it. That's one of the very few consoles I didn't own. Pretty common for DDs to cut off here. I was really hoping it would go this way. Well... Uh, I'm not really responsible for A. I'm responsible for B, so we'll turn and we'll go around the island. Hopefully. This thing has traversing smoke screens, so maybe I can slip in unnoticed. I'll keep the other set of torpedoes at bay. Oh, I have a Decepticon on this, don't I? Nope, not this one. It's the other ship. Okay, I knew one of mine. I actually did have a Decepticon. Spotter plane going up. I do have a Pensacola about to approach me. And a destroyer. I think the destroyer actually revealed itself early, so I might be able to sneak around here, maybe, if the torpedoes don't get me. I think it did neatly avoid the torpedoes, sadly. Oh, there's a North Carolina. I'm not going to last long. Oh no, what did I do? 
I drifted. Yeah, look at all my health gone. Oh no. I'm not going to last long, but maybe I can get that Pensacola down. I'm going to try. Citadel hit. I'm going nose in at the battleship just to see how long I can last. Not long at all. <laughs> I wanted to duel the Pensacola. There we go. Enemy cruiser foundered. I think the North Carolina shells will go right through. And I have a Queen Elizabeth as well. I'm going to try to throw its aim off. I doubt that'll work, but... Oh well, I'm going to take some stuff down with me, it seems. I did get another citadel. At least I'm getting citadels. That's actually a higher level ship, if I remember right, that I'm uh, dueling against. Oop, we got a torpedo hit behind us on the Queen Elizabeth. It fell for that? Jeez. Please torpedo hit. I got it. <laughs> this game sometimes, just sometimes things work for me. Now can that smoke screen save me is the good question. It did. Unless they already had targeting on me. I'm going to beach on purpose because I don't want to be anywhere near that battleship, but I might get a torpedo strike off. So sometimes in this game, it's a little trick. You can beat yourself to kind of bounce off of it because it stops forward momentum so you can go in reverse. Unless those land on the deck, I won't get it. Did take the base though. That's not bad. And the fire was set, and I think it's going to fall for the torpedoes. Maybe. Did it stop? Nope, it fell for the torpedoes. It's, uh, torpedoes in this game are very hard to estimate, in my opinion. But once you get used to it, you don't really think about it. You just kind of know where your torpedoes go. I'm really shocked this ship lived as long as it did, though. That Queen Elizabeth's looking right at me. Yep. <laughs> I saw the guns point towards me, and I was like, well, my career's done. As we slowly sink. Let's see from someone else's point of view. Uh, the California's a good ship. It's dueling it. Let's see what the California can do. Ooh. That one's gone. Who's left? I think we got a battleship dueling against a cruiser. Oh, poor Pensacola. How are you doing? No, don't go broadside. <laughs> Mario RPG is amazing, no pressure, but if we sink, I can't swim. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, Selby. There's. Did you see how many uh, life lifeboats there are? Most of the ships have many, many lifeboats. Life, life ships and uh, little escape boats. Are they going for a ram? I think so. That's probably their only option against the Synop with that many hit points. I think that little... Eh, they're not going to make it. They didn't cut in too well. It's kind of funny seeing a cruiser chase down a battleship, though. Especially because that one doesn't have torpedoes. Goodbye, Pensacola. Sorry, friend.
That is a good ship, by the way. The, uh, the Sinop. See the torpedoes here? You can see the person who fired them. I could see why they did that, because they saw on their timer that the Sinop was going in this direction, but it quickly changed course, and that's what you have to learn to do if you are a battleship player. Colorado's having trouble hitting it because it's got its armor directed at it. I think they're going to burn it. I really want to see how well I did, though. I got a lot of ribbons. Yay, I completed one of my trials. Well, that's not bad. Not for that tier, not an AI battle. Yeah, top four. I didn't know I did four. Oh, geez, I lost track of that. We did get four, didn't we? That last torpedo hit. Well, that was fun. Oh, wait a minute. I was going to let the ship load so I could show you how many... Uh... Most of these ships have lots and lots of little escape boats. Not so many on this one. Let's see. They do have one at the back end. And one there. Oh, that's why all the life rafts are strapped to the side of the ship. Which is a fairly common tactic to do. Uh, that way, if the ship started to go down, those ropes would uh, disengage and the rafts would be everywhere. Up oh, there it is. I knew they had them. It's okay. That one's not a bad word. I, I think it was in there because of another word that I added. <clears throat> but if you can see it in the middle above the... I'll try to position it so that... I'm trying to zoom in. But they did have these really good uh, multi-weather boats that were on here for going ashore. And so there was a little crane that would move those off. That little boom arm. They could pick those up and put them into the water. I think one of the ships actually has... Is it the Roma? One of them has a car on it, which is funny. Let me see. I think it is the Roma has a car on it. Lots of detail here. Up oh, there it is. I don't know if you can make it out, but right above the Toronto. There you go. There's a little truck and a little car next to the life raft. Uh, the Italians were using the, some of the captains of the ships were actually transporting their family's goods and stuff between the different islands in Italy <laughs> during the war. And to represent this, they actually detailed some of the trucks and cars that were parked on the ship. Yes, they, they tried to faithfully recreate all the ships as they were. And so they did a lot of good detailing to it. I like the catapult fighters in the back. I thought that was a really neat touch. This is actually one of my favorite ships. I love looking at it. Sometimes I'll just load up a random ship and look at it to see if I can notice something that I've never seen before. Even on the older ships, there's a good bit of detail. Here's a Tier 1, pre-World War II. As you can tell, they were just using, they have little life, life preservers on it still because this is a very old ship.
looking at the interesting little things. Sometimes I, I haven't looked at this one too much detail. Oof, the, the bridge is just a canopy. Uh, just a little bit of a room in there with a canopy covering. I've looked at this one before. I do like it because of the smokestacks. Had a very interesting design. And of course, I love that the game gives you the history for the ships too. For example, this one, uh, a light cruiser built as part of the first series of Kandori class ships. Gisano was built to counter the French large... Uh, country torpedoes, which were uh, like torpedo ships, if I remember right. The ship boasted high speed and a good set of armament for her size, which came at the expense of poor armor protection. And indeed, it has little to no armor. There were four ships in the series, entered service in 1931. No armor. <laughs> Uh, the only place that has any amount of armor at all, I think, is in the deck housing. Yep, right there below. Uh, that was their information room, I believe, the spotting room. That's the only one that had armor. I'll play this one. I haven't played it in a while. You was learning. Oh, good. I like playing this game because there's a lot of little interesting uh, facts in here. But there's a lot of fantasy ships. Uh, the community calls them paper ships because they didn't make it off blueprint. I don't mind those ships, actually. I like learning about them. Lots of ships were designed throughout history that never made it to the uh, dry dock. Indeed, there's quite a few ships that made it to the dry dock and then were scrapped. Ooh, that's right. This one doesn't have smoke. Mm. It does have low detection, though, at 8.5 for a cruiser. That's not too bad. And I believe it has the long-range slow torpedoes. Ah, uh, it does. I don't keep these. They're too slow for close combat for the most part. I mostly like to just see if something runs into them at the beginning. I might want to take up a position near that island. For the most part, the Italian ships are best at ambushing, because they just don't have armor to, well, duke it out. Especially not with a Wyoming. If I can make this island, I can take some quick shots at these ships coming in and duck into the island. Kuma's a good target. I was targeted immediately upon revealing myself. I thought so. I don't think this is a tactic in real life. Uh, but I like to do island bumps so that I can avoid fire. Might need to switch to AP. The Kuma's getting very close. Yep, I'm going to switch over to the AP. The exploding shells will only do so much at that range. They need to come down on top of the deck to be really effective. Oh no, little destroyer, you're going to get rammed. Close. We're aiming for the engine room, and I got it. Didn't quite take it out, but it stopped it. Can't really go anywhere at this point. The ship is on fire. Knowing the ships too and the history behind the different ships lets you target various uh, sections of the ship. These cruisers, I know. Oh, the St. Louis can be hard to citadel. 
I doubt I'm going to get that unless it goes over into the engine room. But it is going to go broadside, so we might give it a chance. Nope, it's turning again. Oh, and now I'm broadside to a battleship. That's not ideal. It thought I was going to keep reversing. <laughs> no. I need to get out of here. There's a battleship. No Citadel, as I said. That thing's got a lot of armor. I'm outnumbered with two ships. Oh, well, I do have a battleship here, but they're not supporting me. Come on, Wyoming, get your act together. We got a little bit of a problem here, friend. Oh, no, there's the St. Louis again. It's a tier two, but can easily get me because this thing doesn't have any armor. Oh, I can't hit the St. Louis. I guess I'll take shots at this. It's looking right at me. Missed. Let's see, I got a couple thousand damage. That was probably hit the deck housing. Where are those landing? I'm trying to get a good estimate of speed. Uh, back half. I need to go a bit more. It's sped up. Middle. Ah, can't... <laughs> just can't sit it out. I don't think the guns are big enough. Oop, that ship neatly avoided the torpedoes. I, how long have I been dueling this St. Louis? I didn't expect it to last so long, but it is. The St. Louis is kind of like a battleship at this tier. The Wix is going to become a problem. I'm almost in torpedo range. Normally don't want uh, AP on those. As you can see, it doesn't do a whole lot. I've really been desperate to try and get it. Just one Citadel on that, I haven't. Oh well, we're gonna take it down, I think. There it goes. Well, we got battleships to deal with. It avoided the torpedoes again, so I might be forced to get really close. If I last that long. You always have one torpedo left, though, and it's your ship. The Colbert is still full of hit points, correct? I'm going to drop those there. I don't know. That other ship's blocking it a bit. I did get one little hit. Okay, I got that one. I think I outran its guns, I think, but the secondaries are getting me. Oh, my secondaries actually set that thing on fire. That's funny. Didn't expect that. I don't think I'll get to ram it. It looks like the um, Degeller there is going to get it. Oh, Wyoming came out of nowhere for it. Well, that wasn't too bad of a fight. I don't know where am I at on the Italian line. Oh, 
Oh, did we complete it? No, we didn't. I was going to say that would be amazing. I still need many, many green XP. Okay. 500, a little over. No, a little under. I think the weekly challenge just started over. I finished daily earlier. And in four battles, make it to the top. Hello, Cyril. How are you doing, friend? I hope you're having a good morning. What were you playing? I know you, I thought I saw you finished Pokemon on Twitter. Oh, you're playing Tomb Raider as well? <clears throat> Fruity's been playing that and having a good fun with it. <coughs> oh! <laughs> I will... Hello, Morgan. <laughs> Thank you for being first, Morgan, in the lurk. Hope your day is going well, friend. How appropriate that little Italian jingle while I'm playing the Italian ship line. <gasps> Queen Faley, welcome in, friend. Thank you for the lurk. I hope your day is good. That scared you? <laughs> uh, I believe that's why everyone likes it here. They're trying to scare me in the mornings. I almost dropped my coffee one time, and I think it's become a thing now to see if they can get me to drop it. Oh, you just woke up. Mine, my wake-up wasn't too terribly long ago. I'm still having my coffee on the bridge of the ships. Oh, look. Already this early in the morning, they're getting started. Uh, thank you for coming in, but you can't post links here. And I don't believe anyone wants to buy their viewers. So, enjoy your day. They are getting an early start today. Oh, well, that one's been bobbed. Hello, Hysteric. <laughs> uh, welcome in, friend. Oh, no, you wanted to, uh, you wanted to buy them? Sorry, friend, that one had to leave the room. Only Sarah would be polite uh, to the bots. You're so... <laughs> I always try to uh, wish them well, just in case there's a human behind it. I know they're just mostly programmed bots, but I do feel bad, because, I mean, there could be a human behind it that's being paid to do that. It's not a very good job, but I try to wish them well, just in case someone is looking at the screen. It's just not my... Uh, they're not allowed in here. Midnight Resistance. Hmm. What was that? Is that in your Sega challenge? I'm just sitting here enjoying my tea, or my coffee, rather. I'll have tea later tonight. Oh, that is totally in there. That's an arcade game, too, if I remember right. I seem to remember the name. It triggered a remembrance, but I don't think I played that one. Probably didn't own it. No, I see the box art. I did not own that game. I might have played it, though. Uh, you can't afford them anyway. <laughs> uh, oh, that wasn't what you were last playing. It just was in there. <gasps> Oops, I'm sorry, Hysteric. I just gave away your setup. I've done that before. I changed my card over, go to someone's stream to say hi, and then they're like, oh, you were last playing? And I'm like, no, I'm about to. <laughs> yes, uh, someone in chat told me that if they, to report them, if they have a Prime sub because it's a hacked account, and that is quite sad. And you're just having some noms before... Yeah, I saw. I think you're about to go live, too. So have a good stream, friend. 
And I hope your mill is going well. And Cyril, you're playing... Are you having fun with Tomb Raider? Because Fruity has been playing lots of Tomb Raider. As a matter of fact, I think that was... They, that was the only thing they did last night, right? I think most of you know Fruity Spruce, but I like to shop them out all the time anyway. I have so much fun in their room. Yes! Oh, are you playing a remake, Cyril? I'm sorry, did I miss, miss it? I had asked um, if it was the original one or not. I think the goat scared you into not... <laughs> uh, the Fruity... Le Fruity is a legend. There is no Fruity or Spruce than Fruity. This is known fact. Yes, uh, but to answer your question, Cyril, Fruity is playing the original PlayStation 1. And it's lovely to see it again because I haven't seen that game since I was a kid. Oh, you're playing one of the remakes. Okay. I didn't even know if they had that one. Is it on the PlayStation? I can't remember where they host the original or the remake rather. Oh, I suppose I should get one of the ships running while I'm sitting here gabbing. I'm actually going to put on the little tiny ship that I've been playing with this one. The Palo Emilio. A very unique destroyer. It's got the creeping smoke, really long recharge on the torpedoes, but it's incredibly fast. Uh, they aged so well. I believe that was sarcasm I heard in your text. <laughs> uh, most of the games I play are over 10 years old, so... Except for this one. And technically, what is it going on now? Four or five years? Oh, the horn. Everybody likes to blow the horns at the beginning of the match. Let's see. I'm a destroyer. I'm responsible for C. It's capture the flag, so my objective is to try and sneak in there, but this is a bad map for that. Hmm. This is very hit or miss for me because there's lots of other destroyers on the enemy team. As you can see, it's mostly destroyers... Battleships. Hmm. Interesting. Engine boost activated. Uh, the power of British sarcasm. <laughs> so strong is it, Selvi, that it comes through even in text. Full speed ahead. <laughs> it just shows up there. It's a superpower given to all British. Even when they text, they can make their sarcasm known. It's a subtle yet refined sarcasm. This isn't going to end well because I just went straight down the middle into B. But I haven't seen anything, so I want to see how if I can get... A oh, nope, there's a Tashkent. It's going to see me, but I have the smoke. I just wanted to get my beads lined up there. I knocked its torpedo. Oh, no, I destroyed their torpedoes. It might hit the torpedo there. Knock its engines out. Oh, so close. I got to get out of here. It's got torpedoes. Something did take a torpedo in the back area, though. Set. Oh, jeez. Bismarck, not a good ship to get seen by. That thing has so many guns. I'll keep the other torpedo load in case... <clears throat> Something is in the smoke screen. Oh. Well, it knows I'm here, but we can't see each other at the moment.
Oh, it's going to get me with torpedoes. Unless I can get behind the ship. Nope, they're pushing me into it. <laughs> what are you doing, ship? Don't... The Odin has decided it wants to push me. Okay. Full reverse. There's a lot of torpedoes going after the Bismarck, which will really hurt me if it hits. Someone's torpedoes, please hit that. It's just doing Odin things. The Odin's one of the battleships in the game that has torpedoes, so people love to pilot it in the close combat. Oop, battle ended. We won by points, I believe. Oh, I didn't get to do very much. I still placed third, but I didn't get to do much. Well, isn't that a shame? I was hoping to do a bit more than that. What other little fast ships do I have? Oh, the Leon. That's a good one. Very stealthy, very tiny, very long-range torpedoes that will load it. I love that it has LE on there, too. It's nice. A very large destroyer in comparison with her contemporaries, officially classified as a light scout for a long time. One of the ship's features was an eight main battery gun placement in four twin mounts. Entered service in 1924, three ships in the series, and I believe the Leon could be mistaken. I think it was the only ship to survive the war. I think the other, her two sister ships, I believe, sunk. It is stealthy, and the torpedoes do load pretty good. I think I'll give that one a shot. Why not? I haven't played it in a bit. Uh, we don't have arms, but we have crazy levels of sarcasm. Uh, well, if only the whole world would learn that that's the best way to have fights is with sarcasm. <laughs> that's all we need. Jokes, sarcasm, and memes. It's a much more creative way of dealing with problems. I remember when I was very young, I even told my mom this. I asked my mom this question, and she was baffled, had really no response to it. Other than that's just not the way the world works, honey. Uh, but I had asked her, Mom, why don't the world's leaders play video games to decide their problems? And she just couldn't come up with anything at the time. But I've often thought about that myself. I'm like, why don't we just force them all into uh, Fortnite and let them settle it there? That game is so hard at times. It's fun. I've only played it like two, three times. <laughs> it's kind of crazy and chaotic, but... There we go, you know? We could just have the entire world. All of our problems could be solved over some games of Fortnite. Or Smash Brothers, that would also work. Good luck, everyone. Tell you, it'd be a lot more entertaining, wouldn't it? There's lots of little places for me to hide here, but I'm going to try and do my job to be a good little scout. I don't want to shoot immediately unless, unless it's a destroyer. Then I kind of have to, they'll see me quickly. Um, for those of you who are curious, the ships over there can't see me. They're being scouted by someone else. At the top, I believe it's the right, uh, at the top left-hand screen for you all, the little I that says 5.7. That means if a ship gets that close to me, it will see me. I will appear on the map to it. Like that one. This is not good. I had no intentions of duking it out with another ship. We're going to drop smoke and turn very sharp because it's already dropped its torpedoes on me.
Best I can do is knock out its engines and hope that it drifts into my torpedoes. Oh, it did not. It actually managed to get right on by them. We did get it, though, thankfully. I think I hit ammo. Oh no, look what it did. It tied me up just long enough. Uh, the Le Gonier is coming after me, I believe. The, the little ships are good at bailing, though, when they need to get out of harm's way. One torpedo strike. I might only have one other chance to get this thing. It has torpedoes as well. Whoop. It did make a mistake there. There's its torpedoes. I think it only fired one of them. I didn't plan on being in combat with this thing, but I got very quickly stuck in, as they say. Oh, if that torpedo hits them, I'm going to laugh. I did not aim for the Nagato. Can it make it? I think it's going to burn out. The engine in it can't be that good. Mm, nope, it just skirted by. Any other enemies near me? Oh no, I think that's all they have left. Well, the little Leon is doing pretty decent today. Where's that ship heading? Ah, oh, it's going to go that way. Elgar is not doing too hot. It's about to go down. Our victory is in sight. Although it is trying to take our base, so I might want to head back that way. Because I think the battleship that was guarding the base left. I'll just head back that way just in case. I think we're going to win this because they ran out of ships here. Can I get the last hit on that? That's kind of cheeky, I suppose. Doesn't know I'm here though. Uh, it's being spotted by someone else actually. It's very long range for a destroyer's guns. Ah, got it. Well, well, now there's not much left to me to do because I'm pretty far away. I did the right thing though. In PvP, the caps are very important, so it's much more important to uh, defend them. The enemy has two, but we're winning by points. That's okay. Let's me catch up to the chat. Oh, Retro, welcome in, friend. I didn't see you in there. Your name looked just like Selvi's. Both that same blue. just gonna say I know you play retro I didn't know which ones I've seen you in hysterics room many a time it would actually be an amazing live event to watch <laughs> I agree Sylvie I'd pay money to see it oh and there's another thing then all the money could be raised for the uh, various charity groups in the world we're gonna have a very peaceful sailing here because I think the last of the enemies is way at the back of the map. I'll just pan it back so that we can see what everyone else is doing. Oh, maybe they lost where the other ship was. Last known position of this battleship was... Ooh, actually there. I 
I don't know if it's still hanging around there, but it was over here somewhere. It's okay, they can take the base and we'd still win, so that's good. Maybe the next generation of world, yes. Well, here's hoping to that. I'm looking for the team just to see where the other ship went, but I don't know. Uh, that, the cruiser right there, the Dallas, and this battleship are doing the right thing. If you can't find the last person, you just go to their base and take it. That way you don't have the long stalemate. The game is a bit of a capture the flag. According to this, that ship should be around here. Fishing torpedoes. Indeed, there it is. Too late. I think they'll take it now. At least I found it. I did my job as a scout. Now, traditionally speaking, this is actually what the real role of destroyers was, was going out finding, screening against other destroyers, sure, but you didn't fire at the enemy right away. Give your position away. You'd trail them. Even in today's Navy, this is what the destroyers are best at doing. Scouting out other ships. Ah, and the Queen Elizabeth did go to our base. Now, the real question is, does everybody leave our base and then lose us the game? Or are they going to stay? Nope, they didn't leave. Good. Uh, they already are. Hello, Cormac. How are you doing, friend? I hope well. Hope your Sunday is going well and your weekend has been fun. Yeah, third place. Not too bad. Ooh, I got one of the... Which one did we finish? Not this one. We still need a little bit more XP. Not much, though. Not bad, though. I've had all victories today, so that's nice. Oh, the daily missions were finished. Okay. Very good. I think the next fight... I'm probably going to use this one. It's, it's a paper ship, though, right? Yes, this one entered service, or would have, in 1913, but it wasn't actually constructed. I believe her sister... This one was, though, and it's basically the same. They scrapped... This design here in favor of this design. Because the Roma was a real ship, I believe, with two. I think there was two in the class. Oh, no, there were four. The Toy Vento class battleship. She carried powerful main battery guns uh, for a ship of her size. Was well protected by reliable side armor had good torpedo protection. However, the ship did not have good AA capabilities to efficiently counteract airstrikes, which is true. A lot of the Italian airships were at a disadvantage against airstrikes. This is one of my favorite ships, though, to pilot. Maybe we'll do it when I get back. I'm going to take a short break and get rid of the commercials. Yes, it's one hour, so I recommend everybody take a small self-care break. Get up, stretch, have some drinks. Refill your coffee if you have to. And we will be back in just a few minutes.
Alrighty, I'm back. <clears throat> I hope everybody had a good little break there. So I said I think we'd play the Roma next. Hello, John. Welcome in. Hope your morning is going well, too. Oop. Yeah. This is one of my favorite battleships. It's actually... I think it's one of the most played ships I have. Oh, you're setting up your new internet. Well, I was just going to say, you're in here talking just fine. You can use the stream to see how, uh, how well it's working. Did you get new speeds? That's nice. Oh, 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 the, the T-Mobile's internet. I was just going to say, I didn't know if you meant the home internet or it's T-Mobile internet. Well, I hope it works well for you, friend. I sadly am stuck with Comcast in this area because there's pretty much no one else. <laughs> I'd like it if I had choices, but we don't really. Ah, okay. My uh, cell service is actually through Mint Mobile, who's owned by T-Mobile. I'll admit it, I was sold on the commercials by Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> uh, the commercials made me giggle enough that I had to try them at least. And I was just fed up with some of the bigger companies that I was dealing with, so I went over there. I've actually been very pleased with them. I like being able to pay my phone bill for like six months and then not having to worry about it. It's very nice. You just make one bill and then you're done. You don't have to look at your phone and worry that you've got a bill to pay. Good luck to you all as well. I don't... Oh, the destroyers are entering the middle of the map. I'm going to be completely alone, aren't I? Technically, where this battle group is responsible for getting C. And something in B can see me. That's unnerving. Just a bit. Okay. Who can see me? I can deal with the destroyers, but I'd have to switch ammo. That one's a bit far away. I really want to go to C as well. Their smoke had blocked it for a bit, but I'm going to see if I can't hit that Edinburgh. Side on. No, didn't get much damage. Sped up. Torpedoes? Well, I think I'm going to cut away from that. Uh, you know, this is a newer map. Maybe the other players know something I don't. Maybe the AI just doesn't go into sea. This destroyer here could use some support, but... Uh, it went a little close... Leon, hmm. I've been trying to be careful with my battleship. That's not a great position to go through, is it? Oh well. Yep, oh, our one destroyer's gone. One of theirs, two of theirs are gone. Another one of our destroyers just bit the dust. That was the one that was dueling it. Well. Is it going to make the mistake of revealing itself? Doesn't see me yet. It is behind me, though. I didn't even... That Brandenburg, where did it come from? It must have been back there, and I just didn't see it. I don't have much room to turn, but the rear turrets might be able to take it out if... Worst comes to worst. Or is the Brandenburg secondary is going to get it? 
Oh. Hello, Tactical. How are you doing, friend? <laughs> that jolted me out of my concentration. Well, this was a boring map for the... Okay, so we learned a lesson. The computer doesn't go to this side of the map. That must have been why everybody went to the center. Because now I'm playing cat and mouse with them and I can't catch them. How are you doing, friend? Were you playing more uh, Black Ops? Oops, wrong commands. Right command. Uh, you were playing some Call of Duty. Sorry, this match got real quiet. I know now if we come to this map... Shatter. Okay, if we come to this map, don't go to C. It seems the computer doesn't like it. I might get the last ambush on that one, though. I would like to hit something, or I'm going to end negative for funding. Oh boy, I hit its armor. Didn't do anything. I did take that base, though, so hopefully I'll get points for that. It's a shame, too, because this ship is like a tank. It's very, um... It's very good at taking hits. It's kind of its main thing. Oh, we did get a Citadel. That made up some damage. Were they trying to ram each other? I guess they missed. Oh, I see what happened. I was like, why is the battle going slow? Most of our team got wiped out by these uh, AI here. Oh, I did get that one. Oh, goody. I like engaging battleships in close combat because you get to do the secondaries. I actually have the Roma geared for close combat, even though it's got pretty long range weaponry. That was a very solid engine room hit. Oh, I don't want you ramming me. You've got no health. You're gonna burn to the ground anyway. The ground, listen, it's gonna burn and sink, actually. Might still get a little damage on me. Nope, I knocked the guns out, I think. Secondary dual battles here. I do have one rear gun left. Oop, that hurt. I did get it at the end. Yeah, I had a few good games, didn't go well. Oh, well, you know, Tactical, we gotta play sometime. It's cross-platform now. Oh, well, it was still a win. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna play... This one's quickly becoming a favorite ship, so I think I wanna play it next. Then maybe I'll play something fun like a torpedo boat. I could actually break up the combat. I did do a battleship, didn't I? Hmm. Let's go play an American battleship real quick just to kind of break up the day. Benham's one of the favorites too. Yeah, on or off stream, friend, I would gladly play with you. I'm eager to test out the cross-division gameplay.
And divisions in this game can be so much fun. Oh geez, Tool Brothers. This map is notorious. Just go to YouTube and check Two Brothers on World of Ships. You'll see what I'm talking about. The reason uh, the map is two islands, basically, and that center path goes right to the base. So sometimes people fight over the center. And uh, it can go really good or really bad, depending on what team you're on, I suppose. We're in AI battles, so most of the time what I like to do, if I'm a destroyer, is lay a smoke screen for my allies behind me, all of them, and drop torpedoes just as a deterrent for the cap, swing back around and defend the base. Their destroyers normally get very carried away and come directly down this... Uh, where I'm aiming the torpedoes at, right here. And the Benham fires a good many. I don't think I'll hit anything, but a lot of the time it can stop them from moving. I'll lay smoke for our team. They have two ships coming down probably through the middle. Ah, there's their destroyer. It'll see me in just a second. I might be able to knock its engines out before I turn away. Oh, got my steering gear. I'm going to have to fix that. Shocked it avoided the torpedoes. No, I didn't get lucky with anything there. I'm behind my smoke screen, as you can see. That's why they're not shooting now at me. They have no idea where I'm at. The other torpedoes might be reloaded, though, so that might help. Oh, battleship just decided to come in now. I'm going to bump off of it. Ooh, that's a pretty skin. That's the one from the uh, spaceship event that they had. Torpedo did bite something. Must have been in that smoke screen. Is there anything left in the smoke screen? I'll fire that off just to see if there is anything left. Up oh, there was. There's a Leon. Lion. Has a lot of torpedoes going for it. I got two hits there. I can't believe it missed all those torpedoes. I'm going to give it credit. It did dodge all that. Did not dodge mine. Oh, it's nice. They told me nice work. If you haven't played this game, the ships in this game are basically classes. Like in any... Uh, basically like in a versus game, you've got your battleship is slow. The cruiser's kind of in between everything, and the destroyers are incredibly fast, but no armor. I think I'm the only thing that can see the King George, right? I am. Nope, wait, now the cruiser can see it, I believe. And it might be dueling against that other battleship. Well, at this point, it's the only ship. I normally don't like to reveal my location, but... I can see if I can get some extra XP on it. 
I don't think it'll see that first volley. About maximum range for this thing. That's why they're not hitting. Blind shots mostly. Oh, I'd hit something on the back half. I'm gonna get the back base too. Oh good, I think that was a weekly challenge. One thing when they're at max range, the fire shells, uh, exploding shells, fall directly on top of the battleship, which is why you can damage it even though you're using a much lower caliber gun Okay, now I can, I feel like I can go back to the battleship. I'll try to go back and forth. The battleships are a bit slow sometimes and not quite as interesting to watch. That is a nice little reward at the end of the week though. I had thought about playing Pokemon, but Pokemon's not going anywhere. This game had events that I needed to finish, and I do have to actually go into work for a little bit, so I wanted to get this done. I don't know if I'll get to play it again today. I am in C group. Technically, the way they arrange it, you're supposed to stick in your little group and go to the number ahead of you. Of course, not everybody does. Uh, have you seen the Pokemon Presents announcement yet? Not the Presents. I thought I'd seen something about a special giveaway, but no, I haven't seen that one, Queen. What did they say about it? Is something new coming out for it? Oh, are they actually going to do a Generation 9 already? My, my. Has Sword and Shield been out that long? That they're already about to do the next generation? Ooh. Well, if you want, Queen, you're more than welcome to share the link inside the Discord. Oh no, the starters don't look good. Well, still, that's exciting. A brand new one. Because the last Pokemon was just a re-release, right? Sword and Shield being the actual last generation, I believe. Uh-oh, they see me already. That's not good. AP shells, even if they hit, they're not going to do much. Nope, it dodged. Although, if it keeps coming this way, the secondaries will have it. Too far away for its torpedoes. I have a cruiser between me and it, too. Oh, it's going to eat a torpedo, I think. Yay! Two. <laughs> that was very good of that uh, ship to get those. I think I'm just going to be able to go right in here and take this base with the uh, destroyer. They did it again. The AI just went straight down the middle. Thank you for cleaning those gears, John. The duck with a little hat? Oh, how can that be bad? I want a duck with a little hat. Oop, the Helena just bit off more than it can chew. It's about to take on a battleship. That's not ideal for them.
Hopefully I'll get within secondary range. Ah, there we go. The little secondaries will help out a lot. It doesn't have torpedoes on, unless they've given them in an update. Oh, jeez, that would be bad. No, it doesn't have torpedoes. Ooh, I would have thought a citadel on that. I took damage from the Synop, didn't I? Mm-hmm. That's what got me. I'll start going that way. Oh, you put it in the news immediately. I will check that out in a bit. I want to see the little duck. Little starter Pokemon. And water is my clear choice. Because I do all of the generations with... All the Pokemons, I always do a water team. Aha, there we go. Finally a Citadel. Took me half the map to get. I'll get the flag too, which is nice. Oops, I'm going to have to start turning or I'm going to hit the land. You've got to really think about where you're going to move. Oh, that was a solid hit. It's not got many hit points. One thing I do like about the Italian ships, they're fairly quick. Uh, they're called Scarlet and Violet. Interesting. Let me look at your... News media and links. I'm hoping there's at least a little picture I can quickly check. I won't be able to watch the video. Oh, okay, it is a YouTube. I will look at that after the stream. I do want to see what the starters look like. Which one are you going to get, John? Are you going to try and buy both of them or just one? Oh, the Gen 9 is at the end. Of course they saved it till the very end. <laughs> I'll go play a destroyer again. Why not? Unless anybody wants to see a particular ship. I'll, t I'll just keep rocking back and forth on those. Uh, Cormac says they're obliged to choose the grass in each new region. I can understand that, Cormac. Every, since the release of Blue and Red, I have always started the Blue, and I've always been a water team. The first playthrough of the game is always a water team. Now, of course, after I beat the game as a water team, I switch my team out for more, what would you call it, practical, much more competitive team. But during the initial stage of the game, I use water Pokemon. Oh, those are new destroyers. I don't know much about them. I think they're Pan-Asian. Oh, that's okay, Cormac. That's what I do. It doesn't always work out for me, but it's a tradition. I've always been the blue Pokemon, and I just something about it. I've always got to be the blue. Oh, this is the new map mode where you have rings. Now, will the AI still do what it does and come to this island and hug it? Mm, it does look like it because of Bismarck's here, which means their destroyer is quite likely going to come around that corner in any minute. I see a cruiser. So there's a cruiser or a battleship. Probably one of their destroyers is here. We're in scout mode at the moment until I can figure out what's up here. Does have a plane. Yep, 
Yep, there it is. I saw it. The Shimakaze is a very, very big threat. I'm going to pull away to try and get it. I don't know if it's going to go backwards or forwards, though. It looked like it stopped. <clears throat> and so did the other cruiser, so it's not going to hit the torpedoes. Yeah, it's turning away. I'm hoping to stay undetected until I get to the Shimakaze. Not quite. Can I switch to AP real quick and get it? Did get one torpedo into that Albemarle. Trying to get over here to help them with the Shimakaze. Normally that would be a real big threat, but it's just parked here. It did something really weird. I'll aid this thing in taking it down, hopefully. Being shot from behind by the cruiser. Shimakaze is no longer an issue. But we do have more things on the map. Problem solved, sir. The Bismarck's trying to come around. Who knew? Maybe I can dump a torpedo bay over that way. The Chappie's almost gone. It could still hurt me. But I think it's focused on the Clabert. And about to eat a lot of torpedoes. Yep. Well, that's good. I think the only thing left is the Bismarck. One torpedo might hit. Yes, I did get one hit. What's over there dueling it? Oh, the Iowa. Well, there's a good fight for it. The Cleveland's desperately trying to run away. It's not in a good position to get the other. Oh, leave the poor cruiser alone. What'd it do to you? It's burning it. That's actually what it's doing. This ship's very good for just running up alongside other ships and dropping torpedoes into them. Ooh, we got something else done. What was that? Uh, it might have been a havoc. Ah, really close. It's very slow to get global. You bought new underwear and it feels weird. New clothes always feel weird until you've washed them a few times and gotten worn into them. I know when I first buy a hoodie or long sleeve outfit, I have to wash it a couple times or it doesn't feel right. It's very stiff. Pull out the battleship again, or should we do something else, like a cruiser? This is only a tier two. I'll play that. I haven't done my tier two. It doesn't earn me much XP, but I'll play it.
No, I didn't want to do that. Do do. Let's see. It's a tier two fight, or is it a tier three? I think it's a tier three. Uh, that's okay. Except for the fact aircraft carriers can really do a number on you at this tier. So the tier one and two ships, most of them are World War One ships. They don't have anything fancy, as you can see. I don't. I don't even think. Do I have torpedoes? Oh boy, I can fire one torpedo. It's just one, though, right? Yeah, that's all it fires. One little short-range torpedo. And I think they're really slow. But I think they fire quick. 20 seconds? Oh, that's not too bad. And I have guns on both sides. I almost forgot how to play it tier 2, because it's like... These ships actually have guns on both sides. I'm in no hurry to get near the aircraft carrier at the moment. I think this one's moving away from me. Ah, there we go. The Wix. Little destroyer to pick on, maybe. I do have lots of guns, might as well use them, and I'm too far away for the torpedoes. I don't know if I can do much at that range, though. It's moving quite fast. Anything this way? Not yet. Oh, oh, oh no. Now that's definitely a mistake I made. It's probably already dropped its torpedoes on me. Evasive action. As much as I can in a little old destroyer like this. I'm not really sure what its torpedo range is. The, the Pan-Asian ships, I need to do those at some point. Actually play around with them and see what they're like. Fruity's been using them and they look fun. Oh, just outmaneuvering me. It is very maneuverable. I don't care. I know I'm on fire. If I didn't know any better, I'd say it was a real person playing it because they're just wiggling all over the place. Our victory is in sight. The other destroyers not have much luck hitting it either. Tier 2, though, it's like, I only have so much I can do, and this thing's good at hunting destroyers, or normally? If I could land some hits on it. Come on, little destroyer, you can do it. You can help me. Maybe. The ship is on fire. I didn't think the torpedo had much of a chance. Ooh, there's its torpedoes. Torpedoes to starboard. Where is it? Thing's been hounding me the whole match. Just AP, but that's all I've got in there right now because of the St. Louis.
Finally. And I did get a torpedo hit on that. Which has probably slowed it down. Langley's out here. I think somebody's already after the Langley, though. It won't last long. Oop, we won by points. Hello, Willis. How are you doing, friend? I hope your day is going well. Let me... Uh, that's about all you can get in these games. You don't get a lot of points at Tier 2. Oh well, every battle gives me a little bit of GXP, which is the global XP in this game. Uh, the green one at the top. Useful if you want to skip through a ship line or unlock special ships. For the most part, I always highly recommend people don't spend it. Uh, except for... I'll show. If I can find it. Oh look, my daily chest is up. I'll take that. Ah, as you can see, like right now, if you had 750,000, you could buy the Roma. So you can get premium ships with that, and it's earnable in-game. So that's what I recommend people doing. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I thought I could mute my mic. Nope, that came on too quick. A little sneezies. You're doing fairly well. How are you? I am doing fine, Willis. Just doing a little wake-up daily uh, routines in this game relaxing having a cup of coffee I haven't seen you in a bit friend <clears throat> so I hope everything is going well with you oh, what's next Well, uh, we'll go play the speedy boat again. This one's giving me probably the best green XP amongst all of my ships at this point. I might watch some more Pokemon later tonight. I don't know. We'll see how long work goes. I have to go in just a little bit after the stream, sadly. There's some things I've got to take care of. And then after that, I'll have the rest of the evening free, so I might watch some cartoons later tonight. Oh, North. This is a classic map, because you've got... It's more strategic to take CNA, of course, and then Focus B, but... They line you up this way. My opponent is an Akazuki. That's a very powerful destroyer. My guess is they're deployed over there. But you never know. They might be in this path. Last couple battles have been kind of a little boring. I'm going to see if I can't stir things up. Just go in the middle. Okay, no destroyer in the middle, just two cruisers. I don't remember if that one has radar. I think it has sonar. I have two torpedoes, I think, to this side. Or it can see me, I'm going to activate smoke. This thing can travel while it's in smoke. You have to kind of time it to do what I was going to do. And hope that it doesn't have smoke. It doesn't know where I'm at exactly, so I'm hoping that'll make it hard for the torpedoes to be dodged. Should be able to stop fast enough. Set. We've destroyed an enemy 
I was really hoping I got that off correctly, but I think I'm going to pay for it. Uh, unless I can trick the battleship into going in here. Please target the vanguard. The other ship's sinking, or I would have actually already launched them. I've got one more set from that back. Might not need it, though. Should take it out. It did. It was a risky play, but it pulled off. They need help, they're saying. I gotta get this B cap and take care of the Akazuki. Maybe. Oh, nope. Akazuki looks like it's done. Well, that was quick. At least I got those two ships in the middle. I didn't expect it to go by that fast. Oh, the Minotaur had a good game. You know, I haven't played any legendary ships. I don't really have an Italian legendary, but let me go look at them. Sadly, legendary doesn't mean, uh, in this game, it means it's the hardest difficulty to play. I believe a lot of people, when they come to the game, they think legendary means you're the biggest and best ship in the game. It just means you're the hardest ship in the game. <laughs> That's okay. We'll we'll use a famous ship, the gearing. It has very very long range torpedoes. They take forever to reload, but they're fun because you can fire them right at the beginning. Oh, same map. I think I'm on the opposite side. No, it isn't. A, it's a hot spot. Ah. Uh, if I remember right, this is the map where you avoid the center because there's nowhere to hide. And I think it's this side is the one that most of the time gets taken first. Oh, geez, the whole room is going to be legendaries. So the gearing fires a lot of torpedoes. Really long range, kind of slow and easy to see. So what I like to do with them is hit them out really quick in the match because I know they'll go the whole length of the map. Meanwhile, now while they're reloading, which is, by the way, a minute and 22 seconds, kind of long for a ship. But hopefully I can take up some scouting, lay some smoke for our friends. I don't know why. That must have been an accident. I kind of feel bad. I think this... Uh, they laid their smoke too early. That's okay, Minotaur. I'm about to lay some smoke for everyone. Smoke generator started. Oh, it's Shimikaze. I can't pass that up. I didn't want to shoot outside the smoke, but... That's the enemy ship for me. I got better guns, it has better torpedoes. This thing fires like a machine gun. It's very good at killing destroyers, and that's what I need to do here. Take that destroyer out, before it can launch torpedoes. And we did. That has radar. So smoke won't matter against it if I don't take care of it. All right, torpedoes are back. This side's contested. I lost the Minotaur, didn't I? Oh no. I have a Georgia. Uh, let's see, I guess I'm gonna have to poke out of the smoke screen. Yep, there's the radar. I've been spotted, I need to get out. 
I'll keep one load of torpedoes in case it dodges. It's seen me and I'm radared, so I, I'm kind of free to shoot at it. I can't get undetected here. One torpedo did hit. That's lovely. Oops, I thought I fired torpedoes. I did not. It's burning, so I'm trying to get away from it. Still detected by radar. Alright, Georgia. Thank you. You took that out. See if I can't stick around. I wasn't going to, but the Georgia took the Baltimore out. Solved, sir. Don't worry, Georgia, I'm here. And I think it's getting ready for a broadside, so maybe I can help. We know the Bismarck's going to come around that corner. And I kept one load of torpedoes for that if it did decide to come around. No, Georgia's backing up too, though, so I can't fire the torpedoes. Well, Georgia, I could have helped you, but you obviously want to dole it by yourself. Might be able to fire over the Georgia. Ship is on fire. It's kind of sad, too. Uh, yeah, I'm going to hit the Georgia, because it just keeps going in reverse. Georgia, you're not going to get it in one shot unless you've loaded all your cannons at the same time. Now you might get it. I get to just watch the fireworks. And maybe survive. Maybe. Oh, jeez, that hurt. It's close. Uh, thank you, John. I didn't see that. Was that another follow bot? Whoa, they're on the uh, go today. Oh, I didn't get to tell it goodbye. <laughs> but the Gearing can be a fun ship. The Alaska is a good ship. I don't have much luck with the Conqueror. Yamato's just a big... It's got very large guns, but I am still very new at piloting it. I might as well use it, though. It took a whole year to unlock that thing, mostly because I kept stopping and starting the Bureau. During her time, though, this was the biggest ship in World War II and the largest guns to date, I believe, ever mounted on a ship. So it has really good range, somewhat good armor, if you're angled correctly. Major weak spot at the very front of it, uh, in the nose. Right about, I think it's at this angle. The reason why people really like this ship, though, uh, the guns are so big that it basically overmatches all of the other armor in the game. So it's mostly just trying to get your shells to hit. If they hit, they'll deal damage. Unless you're going against a similar legendary ship that's well angled. Who is with me? A Shimikaze. And another Minotaur. I have not been seeing Minotaurs do well. I think people don't like that one or something. Which is interesting. On the computer version, it's a pretty feared ship for a cruiser. I'm probably going to shock the players next to me that I'm moving forward. A lot of battleships like to go in reverse. This is a very long shot if I take it, but I think the Bismarck's moving, so I'll hold fire. don't think that Minotaur has 
torpedoes. I'm not very good at judging the shell distance on these, though. We'll see. One shell did 5,000, almost 6,000 damage. As I said, it's really just a problem of getting the shells to hit. And I haven't piloted this ship enough to understand its drift. I'm really shocked. I'm this close and it's just letting me be. I thought it would try to burn me. What range is its secondaries? I have to check that because I don't know. Oh, 5.6. I was wondering because I think they have an enemy Shimakaze about to come around. Might want to get that island between me and it. Sorry, Battleship. I've got to get around you for a sec. Goody. I didn't want to waste that. Ooh. They're moving too quickly. So far. Oh, an enemy Yamato. Is that Shimakaze just parked there? I think it is. I got a Citadel in the weak spot. That's very hard to do, but I did it. That'll even the odds against it. I think it's getting ready to broadside me, but... Ah, went down. Good job. That was a good flanking maneuver on the Odin. Cruisers didn't last long. Sadly, I didn't get to do much. I just pushed up the middle and everything kind of went poof. This might even be the very last shot of the game. Our victory is in sight. Oh, we captured that whole ring. I think the Conqueror's done for. It does have a super hill, but I don't think it can go with that much things shooting at it. Shock I didn't actually get a Citadel. Got the last hit. <laughs> Those are some big guns. I don't know if you could tell from the noise that it makes. They're very large caliber. Return to port. It has a very interesting history. Uh, biggest world warship of World War II. World's largest battleship, Yamato, was designed around the idea that an individual ship could have superiority over any battleship of a potential enemy. Her main guns had overwhelming firepower. The ship maintained a very high level of survivability due to reliable armor, robust torpedo protection. Yamato's AA capabilities were highly efficient due to carrying numerous AA artillery mounts. And there were four ships in the series. And there you go. 460 millimeter guns. Very, very big weaponry. Lots of secondaries on it. It did have a lot of AA. Uh, it actually had 52 times threes, the uh, three mounted guns, 25 millimeters. Sadly, that's actually how this ship was sunk in the war, was by aircraft. I like playing this ship for the secondary reach on it. I think I'll play that one once. Why not? Little battleship hour that we're having. It 
it's been a nice little Sunday morning. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll stream later or not. I thought about it. Well, depend on how work goes. Hello, Yardy Land. What are you up to, my friend? Let me see. I hope that your Sunday morning is going well. Let's see. I was just going to... I was going to call that. I was going to say, you were playing Dead Cells? Ah, <laughs> oh, that's right. You are getting ready for work. Oh, I'll be joining you in the workforce in a bit. I have to go after... After the stream today. Not for real long. Well, hopefully your day at work will go well for you. Oh, of course, no problem. I have no plans in this map whatsoever. I just really want to get in secondary range, so I'm just going to go straight for it. At least the ship does have sonar. I won't potato. I'm going to go right for it. I've got a Stalingrad and a Alaska. Two cruisers flanking me. That's not bad. Hopefully we can deal with any potential DDs coming at us. Oop, they have an Alaska. It's angled right now and almost impervious to damage in the front. Unless I can drop the shell in the back half. Quite hard to do. As long as it's not 11, another 11 hours. Yeah, I hope you don't have to work that long, friend. That's so long. I mean, we humans tend to only be awake for about, what? 14 hours of your day? 15 hours? So eating up 11 of it at work's not very fun. Sneaky Destroyer. It's going to be really hard to hit him at range, but I'm taking the shots at him. Ah, didn't hit it very much. AP doesn't do much anyway. Do any of those have torpedoes? Maybe the Minotaur. I just wanted to get in range for this, the secondaries to go off, as you can see them all firing. That's the true fun of the ship. I mean, you can do other things with it, but if you truly want to have fun... No, I want the Alaska. You get in secondary range with it and just blow up everything that way. Well, Sonar didn't show any torpedoes, so I think we're okay there. I could have swore that Minotaur had them. I actually hope it cuts off to the other side so that the cannons on this side can help me with the grosser, the enemy grosser curvers. It does. It has torpedoes. I was afraid of that. I thought it had torpedoes. Ah, it just waited to fire them. Ooh, that's probably going to be a loss. Well, that's what I get for driving straight in. <laughs> yeah, boom. Well... The Minotaur's a newer legendary ship, and I've only fought against it one-on-one -on -one in a couple instances. I couldn't remember. Now I know for sure it does have torpedoes. Well, what was I doing? I should be doing the Italian ships. I got carried away doing some legendary battles. I'll go play this one. I've got a bunch of ships in this game that are favorites, actually. Thankfully, they let you sort the ships by your favorites. 
This one's going to get a star. I'm definitely going to put a favorite on it. It's a bunch of fun. But, yeah, Yarny, I hope for your sake. It's not an 11-hour day. <sighs> Mine's only a few hours. I'm just going in to take care of a couple things before tomorrow's trucks. And then I'll be home. They had a couple call-outs, and I want to make sure that the line looks good. I don't think anyone was there to prep it. Which will be a pain, because Mondays are our largest day for trucks. Well, in that last battle, you got to see what happens if you don't care and have a strategy in mind. I said it at the beginning of the fight. I didn't have a strategy. I was just going to go straight in. It doesn't work for battleships. So if you play the game, keep that in mind. It doesn't normally, it's not normally a good idea to charge straight down the center of the map. In this, I could go up to center. I'm trying to get as close as I can to this, see what's on the other side, then determine if I need to turn or not. I do have a smoke screen on this battleship, which is interesting. As long as we don't fire our guns, we'll be pretty stealthy. No strategy, just shooty. Okay, so I've been spotted. I can't see it. Very likely it's a destroyer, so I'm going to slow down. And it hasn't shot at me. If it was a cruiser, it probably have already shot. I'm all going to drop anchor here. I find out where the destroyer is. There it is. Oh, I see you. I'm also keeping an eye on this because it's broadside, or it was. Oh, I don't care. I'm always on fire. If you're a battleship, by the way, don't care about being one or two fires. It just doesn't really matter. You can outheal it. Now, torpedo damage is a whole other thing. I just want to block his torpedoes as best as I can. I'll give the smoke to the guys behind me. Also, a Shores. Oh, it's going to try and drop torpedoes right on me. Nope. I'm going to leave that area. As you can see by the hit points down there, the fire doesn't make a big di difference. On cruisers and destroyers, it's devastating. But if you're a battleship, you can you can get away with just walking away. Oop, that ship had a bad day. Must have eaten a bunch of torpedoes. And some more torpedoes. Oh, they missed. This battleship is really nice because it's like a hybrid. Yeah, everything is fine. It's all on fire, but it's fine. That does have torpedoes. I don't know if it fired them yet. We're at the end of the fight, though, aren't we? No, they still got a good bit left. Ah, torpedoes got it. Well, that ruined my fun. Also ruined my fun. No. I tend, uh, I don't tend to do tactics on this. I just head straight in. Yeah, but that doesn't work always. 
Do you want me to just head straight in? I can show you some... I, I've got ships that do that. Hmm, here we go. I have the famous ship that does it. Well, famous in this game. Let me see. This one, the Nassau. This ship is just secondary guns. It's kind of designed to do that. Sometimes there's a lot of chaos. It's typically Yarny when I'm playing the, the destroyers. Then there's chaos. Although every now and then a battleship will have a good game. Uh, this ship, you could win it. Well, they I think they gave it away on Twitch, actually, a long time ago as a drop. But I got it during the Halloween. So, if you like what you see after this, you'll have to wait until Halloween or they run a, a special. Because they normally retire the ship outside of events. And it's kind of goofy. It's just a secondary ship. I mean, the guns aren't too bad, as far as I can tell. But it's those uh, secondary batteries at this tier. 6.9 reach. And there's a bunch of them. Uh, all those little guns across the deck there. This ship, I like to pilot it straight in. This is fun right here. If that destroyer goes all the way in with smoke... This ship is very powerful if you have somebody laying smoke for you. Secondaries don't reveal your location if they go off. I'll get a little closer. Ah, there we go. We've got an opponent on the other side. You can even see the guns are already starting to go off. Doesn't take long. I'm going to follow our destroyer friend in. You can see the little secondary is already popping off in every direction. Oh, they did torpedo our friend, so I'll have to turn down. Hope that I don't get torpedoed. Hiding in the smoke, are you? I think the secondaries will get it, should. Yep, secondaries dealt with it. Boger doesn't have torpedoes, so I can kind of just sit back and shoot at it with whatever. The Gangit does, that's a threat. I like the noise that the uh, little guns make on this, too. I'm quite content to just leave the secondaries do their job on that. This is the ship that's giving the team a trouble. Oop, 7,000 on that hit. That was a good engine room hit. Now have guns going off both sides. Because I'm engaging the Ganget and that. Oop, well, that one's brought low by the secondaries. Let's see if I can't get this one with secondaries too, maybe. I'm half tempted to just park here and see how many secondary hits I get, but the destroyer's going to try and get the kill, I think. Oh, no, the gang had actually killed the wicks. Interesting. Unexpected.
There we go. Now we can have a secondary fight. It was hiding in the smoke. Which is unusual for a battleship, but it didn't fire its guns for a while. That range. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Automatic citadels. But this is a good ship for going straight up the center of the map. I didn't quite do it in that. I got carried away going after those destroyers at the beginning. I'll do it another round. We'll just... Maybe this is one of those maps where I can go straight up the middle. That's another thing, too. In... When you're playing, some of the maps are really good for close combat brawling ships, and some are just not. Like, this one will take too long. You're kind of forced to go forward on this. It's a fairly large map, if I remember right. And the center is highly contested. Yes. Ooh, aircraft carriers. I don't think I... Do I have air defense? <laughs> Uh, yes, it does have a 3 rating in AA. Okay. That's not great. Only 3 clicks, but I think there's only like 2 guns on here. I'm trying to look. But I love this ship. It's so steampunk. Don't see any of the guns. Probably a machine gun in the crow's nest. That's okay. Pretty much. I'm even setting my controller down because it's just going to be basically a straight shot until I figure out where we're going. Or where the enemy, rather, is going. I got the Wix with me. Uh, and a Wyoming. And of course, I think that's a... Not the Langley. Oh no, it's a Hermes. That's the British... Carrier, aircraft carrier in the game. Full steam. Yes, horn. Full steam ahead. I want to get into, uh, what was the meme? Take me closer. I want to use my sword. That would be me right now. Dang the guns. Try to keep my armor angled. I want to last as long as I can. Oh, I got a citadel because the shell came down on the back half of it. It's pretty hard to do when they're on the uh, angles like that. Yep, there we go. The secondaries are already going off. Is the V-25 going to eat all those torpedoes? I hope so. Get them out of the way. Also, it's a Dane. It's not very hard to Citadel it. Ooh, I wasn't paying attention in one stray torpedo. Might actually make it to me. To the back half. Mm, that took the pain off me. There we go. Now I'm finally within sword range. I think I'm going to head straight to the back where the aircraft carrier is. If I survive that long. Oh! Broadside. Didn't get to do much to it. Trying to angle at them, but also keep going forward. That one's going to do a lot of damage to me. Oh, I took it out just before it could get to me. Oops, something else on my other side here. Destroyer. That's great. Look at all the guns going off on this thing before I go down. I think there's... I'm pretty sure he lodged torpedoes. And the plane's on me. Oh, neat.
That's all this thing does. It just has secondaries everywhere. No. I don't think I can turn in time. We're gonna try to mitigate. Nope. Repair the flooding. <laughs> Hello, Ivory. Welcome in. I'm seeing how many secondary hits I can get. I'd shoot at it, but I think that one's hosed. Or not. Come on, gunners, hit it. I don't want to waste fire on it. Oh. It's going to get me. I have to get it. Can I break? I really don't want to get hit by that. I don't have damage control. Ooh, just barely missed it again. I've had a lot of paint scraping going on. Oh, is that who's been following me this whole time? A friend. Ah, uh, that was fun. Hello, Ivory. Welcome in. Thank you for the lurk, friend. Marcus, how are you doing, friend? I hope well. Let's see what our friends have been up to. Oops. Oh, I don't know why. Sometimes the keyboard goes goofy. Ooh, that was such a fun fight. This isn't really helping me to get my Italian challenge done, but Nassau is a lot of fun to play. Seventy XP could probably get that in two fights. Be nice if I could complete that at least the global part. Then I could come back tonight and do the other. Oh, the weekly missions were done already. That's good. Oops, Ivory was playing Stardew. And our friend Polish. I'm going to guess Roblox. <laughs> but maybe not. No, Roblox, I was right. I'm doing well, Marcus. We're just having a nice casual Sunday stream of uh, World of Ships. I was kind of just goofing off because I was talking to Tactical about going straight down the map. And that some ships are better suited to it than others. This one tends to be pretty good for it. I did see you in the Discord and it said that you were playing Ark. How are you enjoying that game, Marcus? It looked like you liked it. I'm not going over to B. I'm going to go straight up here. I'm going to get a lot of speed and go straight into A. Hopefully. Why? Because it's fun. I've got a T-22 and a Gisuno. Gisuno. A uh, super good game. Some girl gave me 10,000 metal and much more. And some inge uh, golem. Very nice. Yeah, in PvE servers especially, I don't know if you're playing in PvE, but people tend to be fairly generous since it's not terribly hard to get some dinos in the game. And other people kind of quit playing sometimes. But I'm glad that you found somebody to help you out. I don't think that's going to hit. Hmm. Oh, well. We'll be in secondary range soon. Which was the whole point. 
I'm playing this to get in secondary range to see what we can do. Oh, that thing's gonna launch torpedoes at me. I think I'll stop and turn. The AP won't do much to it, but if I can weaken it, the secondaries might finish it. Like that. Yeah. You can see the secondaries are trying to... Yep, there we go. I want guns going off both sides, so I'm trying to position the ship so that either flank will have guns going off. There we go. This is what looks the best. Enemy ship there, enemy ship there. Aw, the Phoenix didn't last long enough to do anything. I kind of have to take the Kuma out because it's about to drop a lot of torpedoes. Or I suppose it would have. Oh well, that didn't do quite what I wanted. I only got 47 strikes so far. Guess I'm gonna have to go around here and check for something. There's only three ships back here. A stretch and a hydrate? I'll get that for you, Marcus. Just a sec. You. Oh, did get a Citadel with that last hit. They have torpedoes. I'll go nose in, see if I can't control the damage. I haven't even taken much damage when I'm looking at it. Kuma's not long for the world either. Oh, nope, it's done. Okay. Get me a stretch for the Polish, Marcus. And... It's super hard for everything. Well, early on in ARC, it is a little hard. I don't know, Polish Marcus. Are you playing on a, a person versus environment or a person versus person server? And do, 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 seeing what I'm up to next. <coughs> oh, how to wake you up. That was Morgan, wasn't it? I was going to say, I was off screen for a sec. Uh, the server, if it's PvE or PvP. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm awake now. Sorry, Queen. That's their favorite one. Uh, PvP server is where you fight other players. And a PvE is where the players can't fight you. And you just tame dinosaurs. Do the storyline. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, it is. That's the most used sound effect on the channel is the goat. I think it's like double or triple what everybody uses the others. Ah, okay, the normal servers PVE. Yeah, that's a good way to learn arc. I don't recommend doing PvP in the beginning until you've gotten a good grasp of it, because the PV... Like, fighting other players is hard. I had to fight a lot of players in this game to get all the achievements, 
uh, to rank out to get a bunch of the ships done. But once I got that, I was like, I like playing the AI. Because I basically just play for fun. AI is kind of relaxing, too, honestly. There's not that much stress. Even when I get blown up, it's just goofy fun. I don't really lose a whole lot. Mostly I like to see what I can get away with. This is a new Italian battleship. I'm not... I'm still learning this one. The guns are a bit weird. I think one of the guns is still loaded. Oh, I'm about to have my hands full. I better save those shots. I have a lot of torpedo ships coming directly down the lane at me. And this Keldon, I don't think it's going to be lasting very long. They've not positioned themselves very well. I went right through the front of that. Wow, that's good. Look at all the secondaries this thing has. Well, that's pretty good. It's not a, not quite the Nassau. Pretty close. It's a lot of shooting. Our team has taken the lead. Much smaller caliber secondaries, though, I think. It survived. Oh, barely. Did ram the other ship, though. Got to give it credit. Now my main opponent is this Asashi. And we're both broadside to one another, so that could be problematic. Oh, good. A torpedo. Knock its guns out. Best I can do right now. I think I have better secondaries than the Asashi. It does appear that way. Although it's just going to get one good broadside on me and I'll be done. Let's see his guns load first, I suppose. Nope, it actually banked its shot off the back end. If I'm patient... There we go, engine room. That took just a little bit of timing. It was hard to tell, but I think I was... That ship was angled against me until right at the last second. That was good work. Well, I need to go eat, so see ya. Have a great time. Enjoy your noms, Paul of Marcus. Have a good nummy break. Return to port. It looked like I'm almost done with that Italian mission, didn't it? <gasps> like 50 more XP. Oh, I kind of wanted to get that part done before I went to work today, and I'm pushing it, though. I'm running out of time. Maybe you can get it with the fast destroyer ship. Maybe. It's like 50, 45? Somewhere, it was like 45 to 50 XP, somewhere in there. General XP, not um, global, I'm sorry. The general XP in this is very easy to obtain. The global XP is very hard to get. Because it's only a small percentage of what you earn in the match. Interesting map. I'm responsible for the middle.
do do do. Speed boost. I've got no time for this. I need to get 50 XP so we can get off to my day at work. Always with the ships. Mm -hmm. It's not very wise. I, I need it to be slower, but I want to see if I can't speed this battle up. And I didn't see anyone scouting out here. That's an Italian ship. They've got radar, I think, too, on it. Ooh, legendary ships in this. Now, where's their destroyer? That's who we need to worry about. Oh, I was hoping he'd hit torpedoes. He didn't even get touched. Yes, he did. I was going to say, even one of them would have been nice. A gearing? Good thing I was in a smoke screen. Okay, so, so far my plan is working. <laughs> I really wanted to disrupt this middle line and drop torpedoes and see if we couldn't take out a whole bunch. <gasps> no! Oh, this destroyer. Why would you cut in front of me? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Morgan. <laughs> Engine boost deactivated. Oh, well, at least its torpedoes are going to work. I would have had that too, you know. I'm trying to take that kill. Because since that guy got in front of my torpedoes. Critical engine damage. Our team is taking the lead. Oh. Problem solved, sir. Uh, let's see, they've got a bunch of battleships left. Let's see, how can I best end this? Without getting too blown up. I think that destroyer's going after the Regia? That was a bad choice. It should have gone after the um, Iowa. Or the Amagi, either one's good. I can't do both before I lose torpedoes. Hopefully I can get that. Really? All right, I didn't. May I get the Iowa? Almost. <laughs> I don't really care if I go down at this point. I just wanted to get rid of the, uh, do as much damage as I could to speed it up. Ah, uh, there we go. We actually did survive. Took a beating. Was that it? I think that was. 64. Yeah, it's just win two battles. I'll be able to get that later today after work. And then I'll have the uh, extra crates. I'll probably open crates at some point on stream again. Okay, I pushed a little late. I'm wondering where I should go next. Which of the friends is on? I really would like it if I didn't have to go to work today. Uh. Well, you know what? It's too early. I might have to play for a little longer. I don't think any of the other ones... Well, did I do Sleepy release recently? I can't remember if I've done her recently.
just looking at who who is streaming at the moment. Probably try to wrap things up here. Like I said, didn't plan on it. I didn't want to go to work, but I got called in. But that's all right. I go in early and then I can take care of the line. Uh, since I do logistics, at least that way, then everything's settled for the next day. I'd go there. I just don't want to... I don't want to go into that game right now. Everyone's doing that game. It's everybody has been on that I've raided this week. Well, you know what? I don't think I've done Sleepy. I think I only raided them once this week. And they have a very cozy environment where I don't actually have to uh, give a raid warning. And I have to admit, I haven't seen Midori in a while, so I think we'll go over there and visit them. Thank you all for being here. It was lovely. Yeah, that one. I had an amazingly good time. Glad you were able to actually watch some of it. Well, thank you for being here, Morgan. It was all, it's always lovely to see all the friends. I might be back later tonight. I don't know. Oh, Morgan, when are you streaming? I'm sorry, friend. I didn't even think the whole time. Right at the end here, we'll give Morgan a shout out. I can't remember if I did or didn't. Our favorite changeling. Then I went back to bed. <laughs> and then just decided to come in here and run the goat noises over and over and over. Oh. Well, I'll be in your room lurking uh, when I'm at work. If that makes you feel any better. I'm sorry, Morgan. I used to be able to raid you on Sundays, but I think our times changed or something. What? Yeah, that's what I meant. You rolled out of bed and just said... I'm going to go to Tinsera's room and make goat noises. Oh. <coughs> yeah, the parting one. I knew it. I knew that one didn't shock me. I knew it. I was like, wait, it's coming. It's going to be the last one before we run out. So, yeah, we're going to go and see Sleepy Fox Ella because I do have to get ready for work. I want to eat something before I go to work. Um. And then I'm going to head off, do some do work. Do you really believe your own hype that much? I am the hype! Oh, did you see what I did to the... You know what? I should have done this during announcements. I was goofing off with um, Twitch's animated... Because they can animate your things. So I actually animated our hype. <laughs> Willis. Friend, thank you for that gift sub right there at the end. Thanks for the stream. Well, no problem. It's a pleasure to do that. I, I always say that. I love talking with you all and just... The games are just background noise. It's mostly just an environment to come chill, hang out, discuss what's going on in video game world. I have to go and check what Queen Faley posted in Discord about Pokemon. Enjoy your emotes, Queen Faley, and commercial free viewing. Oh, you know what I forgot to tell you all before we go? I know I said we were going to go, but for those of you who are subscribed, I figured out a way to reward the subscriptions and avoid trolls using our noises. If you look in the panels, I made those subscriber, um, they're free for subscribers to use, the sound effects. Down in the sound alerts, I'm going to add a whole bunch and people who get gift subs or subs will be able to use them for free. I did like that I could do that. That should also avoid any trolls getting in there and using them. I hope. I'm going to test it. Because I really don't like charging bits for them. Um, that's annoying. I don't know why. I just don't... I don't... doesn't agree with me. There you go. Thank you very much. Yes, if you're subscribed, 
you have free sound alerts to throw during the, the streams now. <coughs> Oops, water down the wrong pipe a bit. Uh, I know we. I said we were going to end, and then I just remembered all these things I wanted to say. It's so sad. When I woke up this morning, I got to my announcement screen, and I was going to make announcements, and my brain just erased them all. It said, no, you can't remember any of them. But there you go. Oh, also, if you're not in the Discord and would like an invite, I think everybody who's here is there. I will put that up. There. Let me make sure that nobody else came on while I was doing this. <coughs> it's okay. I like Sleepy Fox Ellen. I haven't been there for a while. I think I we went over there at the beginning of the month. And the one nice thing is... Uh, I don't have to give a raid warning. It's one of my very few people, one of my very few PG streamers that I go to. All right, that, yeah, I've made up my mind. We're going to go over there. It's a good cozy environment to leave off. Most of you know her and uh, appreciate the doggo cam, Midori. So when we get there, say hi to Midori and Ella. You'll see Midori immediately on screen. Let me put a raid message up if you guys want them, or use whatever you like. These are just for convenience sake. Throw whatever emote you want. Um, we'll go to the little end scene here. And we'll be over in Ellis for the afternoon. I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of your Sunday. If you're working, be safe. If you're not working, enjoy it. Lounge about. There's going to be a lot of streams on today. Check our uh, Discord promotion section. I'm sure all the friends will have something going on today. And I might be streaming again later tonight. If not, I'll probably do something in Discord. You too, Queen. Stay safe. Have a fun rest of your weekend. Enjoy it. <laughs>